Hello, my name is Alex Grant. I'm a member of the Ellesmere branch of the Wildlife Trust and I recently joined the Ambassador Training Programme. And how did you get involved with the Mears and Mosses Programme? Well, I live in Ellesmere, which is in the middle of the Mears and Mosses area, and I've been going to Wixell Moss for probably about 10 years. Uh, primarily, uh, I really enjoy seeing the wildlife there, the adders and the raft spiders, the dragonflies and the hobbies. And then when, um, when the Mears and Mosses project started, it was natural that I would become involved. And what are the benefits of being involved with the Mears and Mosses area? Well, really uh, shared experiences, uh, it's, uh, good learning opportunities, and there are several social and cultural activities as well. And what cycling activities are available in North Shropshire? Well, the CTC uh, uh, provides a whole series of rides uh, throughout the year. Uh, more recently, um, I formed an Ellesmere branch of the CTC to get people out in the countryside. Ellesmere itself is a superb area for cycling with uh, lightly traffic lanes going really in all four directions. And what are your favourite places to cycle in the Mears and Mosses area? Well, of course, the Mears and Mosses themselves are, are a great attraction, but I'm also very drawn to the hummocky terrain formed by moraine when the glaciers retreated. How do you think we could encourage more people to get out cycling? Well, I think the first thing is by uh, enthusiasm for the activity. Um, what are your plans for future activities in the Mears and Mosses area? Well, I'm involved in, in all sorts of ways. I'm about to uh, start uh, the Road and Aquatic Survey with Pete Lambert. I've recently become involved with the BTO Wetland Birds Survey. Um, we've got the Birch Road Pond Local Nature Reserve in Ellesmere and we've recently discovered uh, signs of water voles there.